Are you in the mood to watch a video that's gonna make me even less popular on social media than I already am? As if I had that much further to fall. If you are, you've come to the right place. So here's the timeline. I'm probably gonna start off by offending people, which I think is a good thing. More on that a little bit later. And then I'm gonna slowly try to Shawshank my way back up into the sunlight. Let's see how it goes. Now I'm gonna pick on a genre of content creators who fall under the following description, as well as their followers. You post videos talking about unifying people so that we can reform government or society, and or you post videos talking about injustices and hypocrisies in big business, government, and society. You do all of that, or some of that, but you do not offer a consistent or robust solution. I urge you to stop being a talking head and add solutions to every single one of your videos. And here's why. It's bad enough that most of the attention is paid to cat, porn, and people lip-syncing videos. Now we have this small sliver of people who are making content to reform society and government, and it's being diluted with talking heads. Education's great. At a certain point, it's just paralysis through analysis. And more than likely, you're just giving people a dopamine rush because they enjoy kumbaya, we should get together, and hating the same companies or government officials. But without a solution for people to sink their teeth into or to become inspired in some way, you're not gonna have much of an effect in real life. And it also goes against the entire us versus them narrative, which we all, including including myself, operate under. Us versus them, them being the elites. The elites are a select group of people who rig the game of life in such a way that it benefits a select group of people, such as the elites themselves, rather than the mass public at large. Right now on the internet, us, all of us, we have a high number of talking heads and a low number of solutionists, whereas the elites, I can promise you are just the opposite. It is evident by society and government. And the fact that you're posting things in opposition of them in the first place. You may not like the elite solution, but they do things. You may not like what they do, but they get done. Elites are solution oriented. Let me give you three solution examples that differ by the amount of energy that would have to be put into them for them to be accomplished. I'm going to start with my own solution. Not because it's a shameless plug. It would be pretty hypocritical if I didn't mention having a solution after everything I just said. I'm going to describe my solution in 12 seconds. I suggest we impose a political vetting system on our politicians. I call it the grill. The grill is a once a month, three hour long interrogation of the politician while they run for office and while they're in office and it's streamed live to the general public. You can check out my videos for more detail and context. Now I mention mine because this is a type of solution that's a bit more grandiose. It's not sending people to live on Mars or building a city that floats above the clouds, but it requires some labor, at least more than what one person can put in. And it's definable. It's something that people can get behind. It would require at some point to ramp up to maybe hundreds of political interrogations every month. But this is just an example of a solution that is a bit bigger or requires some more labor. Okay, on to the next kind of solution. This one requires a little less work. I was watching a content creator the other day that I admire and follow, and he was videoing a town that, you know, looked like a paradise, but he had mentioned that 10 years ago, the place was a complete hole. And he alluded to the fact that he might have had something to do with reforming his community and his town. And I immediately got into the comments section and said, this is great, but why don't you let people know the details? People need details. How did you reform your community? And imagine if he came back with a video that showed step by step instructions. First you visit City Hall, then you make a group, and then you come over to an assembly or whatever the step by step would be, then people would be more motivated to take that solution and improve their local communities. Let's go to the last example, which requires the least elbow grease. I saw a woman the other day post a video and she gave some very succinct advice as to how to stop people from shutting down conversations when they use the old saying, you don't know how I feel. There's no step-by-step -step instruction. There's no political interrogation, right? It's not as heavy as the other two that I just mentioned. It's something that I can implement in my life right away. And the more you flood the internet with solutions, the more likely people will take those habits and implement them in their lives. And how great would it be if everyone did what she said? People would have less abilities to shut down conversations. There would be more discourse. And the more discourse you have, the more quickly you have a chance of evolving to more solutions that can work. So what are the choices? What can you do? If you just like to watch videos, I would urge you when you come across a content creator and they're not offering a solution, do what I do. Go into the comments section and say, hey, this is great, but what do you plan to do about it? And then duck and cover because people are gonna you know, throw things at you. But it's a good mantra to get out there. If you're a content creator and you're offended by this, well then, good. That's a great thing. It's, it's nature's best alarm system. That feeling of being offended notifies you that you need to work on something in yourself. Because if you were completely confident in your position or what you were doing, you wouldn't be offended by it. Also, this isn't personal, you know, it's like, I'm not your mother. 
So if you're a content creator, if you want to unify people, don't just talk about it. Provide a solution. If you want change in society and you want to show injustices, don't just show them. Provide a solution. And in the end, if you're a content creator and you don't want to provide solutions, choose a few content creators that are solutionists and help get behind them and push. I'm going to end this video with one more shameless plug about my solution. Take a look at it. It's called The Grill Project. It takes a lot more than just me to get it started. Please rip it apart in the comments section. You can click my profile and look at the other videos. Let me know what you think of this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.